This is a special presentation for the Believe in Pro Wrestling podcast. Here's Rick Uccino on the Believe Podcast Network. What is going on, you guys? Rick Uccino here, SB Nation, Believe Podcast Network, here at the WrestleMania Press Junket, and I desperately need something to stand on right now uh, because my guest at this time is the former Universal Champion, multi-time tag team champion. has got a major match coming up this weekend at WrestleMania. He is the monster among monsters, the monster among men, and just a physically imposing human being. It is Braun Strowman. How are we doing, sir? I'm doing great. It's awesome to be here in L.A. You know, a little tired, but had a long weekend, long loop. We did, uh, what we do, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, Denver, Phoenix, then rolled straight in here to uh, uh, L.A. Had a day off, nice. Uh, the, we the weather the first day was nice. Otherwise, it's been a little weird, the weather. Last night, we got caught in a thunderstorm walking back from eating dinner, and I was like, what's going on? But anyways, it's great to be here. The city's coming alive. Had some time to ride up on top of the hill, get the view from the Hollywood sign, all that stuff. Looking forward to rolling in Friday night SmackDown, and then Saturday, it's on. It's on, like Donkey Kong. Man, you have had, um, I mean, you look at your WrestleMania history, whether it's winning the tag team titles with a 10-year-old, whether it's winning the Andre by chucking out two dudes from SNL, beating Shane McMahon's ass inside of a steel cage, or, of course, squashing Goldberg to win the Universal Championship. Man, that is quite the gambit, when you think about it, of WrestleMania moments. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just it just falls in line with all the crazy stuff that I've done in my career, you know. That's one of the things... Uh, in my unfortunate unpaid vacation that I took for a year, I had time to sit and think about my career at the time with WWE, and I'm like, holy, sh like, I've done a lot of stuff, like, in such a short amount of time from, yeah, winning the Universal Championship, Money in the Bay, Andre the Giant, Greatest Royal Rumble, two-time tag team, Intercontinental Championship, main evented, you name it, sold it out, I've done it. It's crazy to think about now back home where I belong, coming in doing something different again, partnering with Ricochet, someone who, when you look at us as athletes, completely polar opposite end of the spectrum wrestling style, but work so well together because our mental outlook on life and in the business and everything of working hard, like his work ethic is unbelievable. You see the physique, the shape that he stays in year round, 20 years in the business, constantly evolving, adapting, getting better every time you see him. There's not a man on this earth that can do what he can do night after night, go out there. And while neither one of us have any weakness in our games, which is great, our styles being so different, all they do is complement each other with me being the big powerhouse, him being the high flyer, him still being strong as hell, me still being way more athletic than I should be for my size, going out there makes for magic. I mean, if you look at us, we're real life Marvel characters. I mean, we literally do the fastball special, which is Colossus of Wolverine, where I just yeet his ass across the ring. And stay tuned Saturday, because we got a whole bunch more stuff underneath these proverbial sleeves that I never wear. I, I want to I dive into that, but I want to go back to uh, your uh, unfortunate, uh, unforeseen vacation that you took from- Unpaid vacation. Unpaid vacation you took from the company, because I mean, you were heavily featured at that WrestleMania. I believe it was, you were coming out of that program with Shane McMahon, and then all of a sudden it's like blindsiding. But now you're back. You missed last year's WrestleMania for obvious reasons. Now you're back. Also, Ricochet's back on the WrestleMania card. I think it's the first time he's been on since his first one at WrestleMania yeah. 35. I mean, the two of you, this has got to be kind of like a, you know, don't take things for, for granted kind of a lesson. Absolutely. And it's not even just us, too. You look at, like, Viking Raiders. This is their first opportunity on the, on the main card at WrestleMania. So many of these guys work tirelessly day in, day out for years. And now it's so awesome to see them getting their moment. I'm really looking forward to like breaking character right here, right now, but looking forward to being able to get in there because I know how hard all these guys work. I've seen Otis and Gable and Ivar and Eric and the Street Profits, all, everybody busts their ass day in and day out. I've seen them in the PC, I've seen them in the gym. And it's so great that not only am myself and Ricochet, this new tag team that's really organically growing with the crowd and getting over, getting opportunity at WrestleMania. Seeing all them have an opportunity at WrestleMania is so great. But going back into character, we're gonna whoop all y'all's asses, go on to take on whoever wins out of the tag team. I don't even care who wins, Usos, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, whatever. On the backside of WrestleMania, I can promise you, Team FAFO Ricochet and I are coming knocking. Yeah, I mean, you you look at this match. It's it's exactly what its, it's title implies. It's a showcase, right? It's an opportunity for for all four of these teams because the Usos have dominated the tag team for so long, and this is the grandest stage of them all. And I know some people look at this and go, "Well, this is just a randomly thrown together tag team match," but it's much more important than that. Much more important. It's what said. You, you, you always have the internet critics that are going to throw their shade at whatever they can, just because that's just what people like to do. And hey, that's your you're you're entitled to it. It's your opinion. Voice it. 
at the end of the day, it's WrestleMania. And whether people want to think we're just being thrown on there to get thrown a bone, who cares? I'll take that damn bone. It's <laughs> WrestleMania. This is an opportunity for us to go out there and carve our names into granite of history. And I can promise you one thing. I feel bad whoever has to follow us Saturday. I'm telling you straight up, don't blink. We're going to steal the damn show. I mean, you look at the talent that's in that match. You talked about Otis and Chad Gable, the Street Profits, obviously, in there as well. Uh, Viking Raiders, yeah, it's, it's outstanding. But I do, I, I, I'm one of those people that have kind of fallen in love with the, um, you know, the combination of yourself and Ricochet and the dynamic that you guys have. You're wearing a, a Hulk keychain here. I was going to go Hulk and Spider-Man, basically. That's, that's basically where you guys have set up. So do you guys... You, you touched on this a little bit, your your tag team and your combo moves. You guys look for comic book inspiration in that? Literally, like I did with Tony in an interview, that they asked if we watched any old tag teams, Diesel and, and uh, Michaels and all this stuff. And one, no, I don't watch to mimic anyone from the past. I want to be the first Braun Strowman, and I know Ricochet's the same way. We literally are watching these Marvel movies and all these Avengers and stuff like that and stealing stuff from there. Not even really stealing, just making them real. So that's the cool thing with you look at us. We're the closest thing to real life Marvel characters that you can get. And you walk in the ring and, and, and then the bell rings and then look what we can do. With, like I said, the athletic ability that he has, the power that I have, mixing it together, using him as a weapon. Literally, I tell him, just get rigid for me. I'll do the rest. <laughs> Relax, body. Uh, but, like, final question here for you because there was so much that was made about a, a particular tweet that you sent out, right? And it, it is what it is, you know, th things have happened, stirring the pot, this, that, and the other thing, right? Do you think if you don't send out that tweet that you and Ricochet are tag teaming right now? Because it kind of gave you guys a launching point to put this team together. I think it definitely helped throw fuel on the fire to get the rocket ship moving. Honestly, like, man, that, that's the cool thing with WWE, like showing up, you never know what's gonna happen on a day-to-day -day basis. And literally one thing like that can change the whole outlook of everything, whether that tweet is what made it happen or not, who cares? We're at WrestleMania. <laughs> if me being a dickhead on the internet, I shouldn't say that. Me being... <laughs> you can swear, it's fine, Sam. Me, me, me being a, a peckerhead and stirring the pot on the internet leads to a WrestleMania match, guess what? I'm going to do it again in a couple weeks. <laughs> Bron, good luck, man. It's always a blast talking to you. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Sir. What is going on, you guys? Rick Uccino here, SB Nation, Believe Podcast Network. You know my guest at this time, former Intercontinental Champion, former United States Champion, former North American Champion. Ooh. The incredible, and I mean that, absolutely incredible Ricochet. How are we Thank doing? Thank you sir? so much. Man, we're here in Los Angeles, WrestleMania, baby. You're feeling great. Now, I had a chance to talk to your tag team partner, which is Braun Strowman. You guys are in a big match this weekend. Itself. I, I believe it. I wholeheartedly believe it. L large human being, larger than life human yeah, being. Yeah. Now, uh, that he sent out last fall. And, you know, he's under the opinion that it, maybe if he doesn't send that tweet, y'all aren't together and possibly on the yeah. WrestleMania card this year. I mean, you know, things happen, man. It, you never know where things might come really? from, but the Absolutely. fact that he sends that tweet, it blows up, but it gives you guys an organic chance to kind of get together yeah. and create a team. Well, it's it, it was organic because, like, that's kind of how Braun and I talk to each other normally. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not just Braun and I, but just, you know, the guys. Like, we like to give each other crap and bust each other's balls and, like, like, I think, I think his tweet, we were saying, like, the guys in the back just saw it as another Braun Strowman tweet. Like, oh, that's Braun. But I think <laughs> the fans were trying to pit us against each other more than anything. But I think at the end of the day, everyone was just trying to have some fun with it. And you know Braun, he likes to get a rise out of people. He loves getting a rise out of people. And if he can get that rise, then he's, he feel like he's won. But like you said, if he didn't do that, and the fans didn't make a big deal about it or whatever it is, maybe I wouldn't be here right now. Maybe I would, you know. So it's, it's, it's just crazy how it works. And Braun and I, we've been friends for so long. And honestly, I don't know why we haven't thought about becoming a team together earlier because it's kind of a no-brainer, to be honest with you, with our styles. It's kind of a no-brainer. But, yeah, I mean, maybe maybe not. If he, Maybe say he didn't make that tweet. Who knows where we would have been? Yeah, I mean, you, you talk about your style, you know, kind of the thing that me and Braun got into is the fact that you guys are basically real life superheroes. Like, you guys Absolutely. are the Avengers, like the Hulk. He had a Hulk necklace on, and yeah. you're, you're, you know, take on the Spider Man role, and oh, it yeah. seems to work. And he's saying that that's a big inspiration for your guys' double team moves. You know, is there some stuff that oh, you guys yeah. have worked out and looked at, some things that maybe didn't work? You know, what's that creative process been like? Uh, yeah, we have a move called the Fastball Special, which, if any fans out there know, like, 
Colossus and Wolverine in the X-Men show, they have a thing where like Colossus will like grab Wolverine and literally throw him like a ball at people and he'll, you know, so that's kind of something we do. Uh, whether that's in the ring or out of the ring, he's, he's, he tends to throw me around. Um, but yeah, we, 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 obviously our inspiration comes from all over, but we try to take inspiration from things that we grew up watching, things that, you know, obviously in superheroes are a big part of our lives as children and they're a big part of our lives now, especially. Um, and if we are able to be the superheroes for the kids watching, if we're able to be the Spider-Mans and the Colossus and the Incredible Hulks for the kids watching, that's what we want to port, I mean, not portray, but that's what we want to be. We want to be the superheroes for these kids. Like, when I first got into the, uh, into the WWE, it was the superheroes are real. That was like my thing because they are real. Like, and Braun and myself are literally real life versions of that. And I think with our styles, we kind of show you that we are real life. When Braun is flipping over cement truck, like uh, semi trucks yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. ambulances and pulling things down, it shows you like he is actually that strong and can do it. And when I'm doing these things off the top rope and all these things like Spider-Man or someone, it's just, it gives these kids and not just kids, but everybody something to like be entertained with and look at and just, we can be proud of the stuff the feeling, like you said, we want to put smile on people's faces. We want to put butts in the seats. So we can be proud of the inspirations that we took to be inspirations for, you know, the future generations. And I know you're really short on time in about 30 seconds here, man. Like, just when you first came up to the main roster, it was boom, you're on the WrestleMania yeah. card. This is your first time back since yeah. uh, you're teaming up with, and it looked like you should have been in a good position last year to make the card, and yeah. then they decided not to put you on the main card. Does, is this kind of like a, you know, this second time around, are you able to kind of soak this in as kind of like a, you know, don't take things for granted kind of a lesson? I think the first one, I was able to do that. I talked to Edge on my first one in, in MetLife. And Edge, the first day, he was like, just remember when you walk out there? He goes, look at everything. Look at the lights, look at the people, look at the your feet. Look at the ground, look at the air, look at everything and just take it all in. He's like, because you never know if you're going to get another one. And that was in 2019, you know what I mean? And so to be back on the card, to be back on WrestleMania again, it's just like that first one that I did. It's, it's not something that I'm going to take for granted. When I walk out there, I'm going to look at everything. I'm going to look at all the people. I'm going to look at the lights. I'm going to look at the ground. I'm going to look at my feet. You know what I mean? I'm going to look at the stage. I'm going to look at the ring. I'm going to look up in the sky, wherever I need to look, and just take it all in. Because, again, and, and not just for WrestleMania and not just in wrestling, but I think that in life you have to stop and smell the proverbial roses, so to say. Because, again, you never know when it's going to end. You never know when it's going to get cut short. So I think being back on WrestleMania is a huge deal. And like I said, I'm not going to take it for granted. And I know Braun's thinking the same thing as someone who was released and then brought back. Yeah. Again, you never know when it's going to happen. So I think both of us are on the same page as far as going out there and making sure that we're not going to miss another one.